we got to be a defensive team. That's our strength. That's our emphasis. I'll continue to tell our guys, we are what we emphasize, and we are what uh, we work on. And today, yesterday, we worked on defense. The energy is great. The focus is there. Now we have to sustain it. It's easy to do it for one or two days. Can we sustain it over the course of 82 games? That's the challenge. And it's on me, our staff, our group to make sure we understand that's our focus. You know, figure out their routine. Um, consistency is part of that. You know, as a professional, and Marvin's one of the best that, you know, in this league that I've been around, he just has the same routine every single day, uh, every single game, and it just locks him in. So um, it's great for our young guys to have leaders like that, that they can look to and watch, that every day is not just random. Every day has a purpose to it. Uh, every day has a focus, and we're very intentional about that. And that's what routine does for you. Uh, it's funny, some of the younger guys asked them where they were in the weight room today. A couple guys didn't come, but I was there, and they asked me how often do I lift. And I was like, I'll be in there every day. You know, it's an everyday thing for me. It's like brushing your teeth. I was telling Miles and PJ, you know, we're going to shoot every day after practice. It's going to be like brushing your teeth. Like, you're going to get so used to doing it that it's going to become habit for you, and that's how you get better. I mean, Marvin's just a guy that's been here. He's been here 15 years. Um, he knows he knows what's going on. Um, at the end of the day, he's played at every level, won at every level. And, um, you know, just, just gaining knowledge from that guy is just it's like an open book. He's always willing to help, um, never complains about anything. And he was the second pick. He come in every day like he was, you know, the last pick of the draft and, and works, works, works. So it's just watching him has helped me a lot just because the way he carried himself and, the, you know, the way he prepared for games still. I've been asking guys a lot of questions, even the older guys. They've been helpful with me. So I'm just, uh, just trying to learn as much as I can, like I said, and uh, just going with every day, just trying to get better. You know, I, I could say all I want until I'm blue in the face, but when they see the example of a Marvin Williams out there on the floor working, committing to his craft, uh, taking pride in his craft every single day, and having a strategy to his day, um, that goes a long way, more than anything I could ever say to them. I have been in that situation before. I was just on the opposite end. I was the young guy that I was getting to play. Yeah, in Atlanta. Okay. You know, we were extremely young, very, very young. And I had an opportunity. I was in the same position that Miles is in, DB is in, Malik is in, Devontae is in. Uh, thankfully, I feel like I was able to take advantage of that. But uh, you do lean on the veterans, man, to kind of be there for you and help you through it because it is a new experience for you. So there were a lot of times when I would sit down and talk to Teron Lou or Al Harrington about what's going on. I had never played that many minutes. So what are you doing to learn from film or how are you taking care of your body when you're playing that long? So uh, I did learn a lot of things when I was in that position before. and It'll be a great opportunity for these guys this year.